Hey guys, welcome back. In this video today, I'm going to do a marine tank water change uh, and show little bits and pieces of that throughout, how easy it can be. Uh, and also, I was talking on uh, YouTube with someone about uh, doing a video about brackish water, and that's very easy to do during the process of this, to make brackish water, which it usually is first. So, let's get to it. So everyone that does water changes, whether fresh water or salt water, over time develop their own system, what works best for them, and um, what saves time. So I'm already uh, filling my water container uh, that I'm mixing water in. Um, and the first couple things I do before I start working with the tank is I check the actual temperature uh, and I do it with two ways. I do it with that and I also do it with that. Uh, you can't see that but it says 76, 77, so we're good to go. Uh, the other must uh, to do is to check your salinity. And this is something called a hydrometer. It's a very, very inexpensive, $10, $12 way to measure your uh, salinity. And basically you just fill it to the line in there with salt or with water, sorry, and uh, so we have a little too much, let's come back, that's perfect right there, and it says sit it down and make sure it's even, but we can see it's even um, by keeping the water level with the line there, and you see the needle has settled at 24, just a little bit above 1.024, which is the specific gravity, that's what that says at top. And then the salinity over here is actually 32.5, So I go by the specific gravity. Uh, it's just easier for me. Um, so, and most people agree that the hydrometer measures uh, a point low. In other words, it's probably uh, 1.025. So, but we're within a good salt range there. That's what salt water is. Uh, so, we'll remember that. Uh, and so, we can go a little higher if we need to. Uh, but let's get over to our mixing tank. Okay, you can have anything you want that's clean to mix your water in. I actually purchased a, a barrel, like a 55 gallon barrel, uh, from my local fish store that. Uh, where I get my salt water fish, uh, but I've never actually used it. I, my intention was to go ahead and mix water ahead of time and have it on storage, but if you do that, you have to keep it aerated and mixed all the time, so it's a little more involved than I want to be with it and a little more trouble. Uh, so this actually is very lightweight. It might weigh, might weigh three or four pounds. It's a really strong plastic. And I think it holds probably 40 gallons thereabouts, but it's a dog bath, it's a puppy bath. And it's sitting on my stove. Um, and my three tanks are within easy reach of it. Sorry for the flickering light, but um, again, I've got my light turned down because I'm having some algae issues. So this has been slowly filling and is about uh, half full, 40% full. So let's see what the temperature is. So it's 80, so hold on a minute and let me uh, make it just a little. Okay, so I've adjusted our water so that it's coming in a little cooler and also to spare you having to watch it, I uh, went ahead and added my prime and remember you're adding prime for the whole tank, not just the amount of water that you're adding because it will dilute out in the tank and you want the water in the tank treated as well. Uh, and then this is your salt and rather than trying to lift that and pour that and all that, I used to measure it with a measuring cup but I still ended up having to add more water or add more salt so I just kind of eyeball it and uh, we have water going in here and since I've added the prime and the salt I went ahead and all this is is just a little wave maker, $12, $15 wave maker. And I want to mix the salt in well. And you can see it's kind of on the bottom there in spots. 
I have to make sure that it mixes well. And uh, I just did an initial pour. I don't think I have enough in. I think I'm really low. So let's check our salinity. And we'll be checking our temperature again too in a minute just to see where we're at with that. So, sorry. So, yep. Very low. So hold on and I will add some more salt. Uh, but before we do that, let's check our temp. This is pretty much real time, so it really doesn't take that long to do. All right, now we're 77.5. So I'm going to leave that right where it's at. Remember, you always want your water that you add back to any tank to be a little bit cooler, uh, and you can make it uh, significantly cooler if you're trying to... Uh, initiate a spawn or induce a spawn or something uh, with uh, freshwater fish. But with saltwater fish, you want it to be pretty consistent. Uh, however, you don't want to ever put in uh, warmer water. You know, like, like fresh water, they're going to get rain and the water that comes into them is going to be cooler. So. some more salt right back all right guys I wanted to do a quick pause right here uh, and talk about brackish quickly uh, brackish water brackish basically is uh, the word means unpalatable or bad to the taste literally is what the word means um, I've already just pulled a scoop of uh, water out I filled my hydrometer to the line I'm holding it level and where we're at on the scale is just under level that up okay just under 12 or 1.012 uh, brackish water is 1.005 to 1.010 so if you wanted to mix it precisely by the standard you would come back down here and you would be about five, six right there. And I'm tilting it to make it do that. So it's not a whole lot of salt. Um, and it's sea salt that you mix in. And, you know, brackish water basically has more salt than uh, fresh water, but less than seawater. And brackish water, surface water, can be all over the place. Um, but generally the accepted mix uh, or concentration of salt the specific gravity is 1.005 to 1.010 so easy to mix um, and there you've got your brackish water boom uh, but I have some more salt to add to this so let me get to that all right so while uh, the camera was off. I've gone ahead, of course, and used uh, the, uh, the right tank python to drain down 40%, oh, 35-40%, um, and gone ahead and mixed my salt up. The reason I do this, you can do buckets if you want to, but it takes forever, and I'm just frankly not able anymore to lift those with my back and neck injuries but you see where our needles going now if you should get a real high reading you know tap on your tap on your container sometimes bubbles stick to the needle in there and just tap and they'll fall so we're right where we need to be uh, right where we need to be just perfect so almost finished here guys thanks for hanging out this long 76.1 so that is perfect and also I went ahead and let this water mix for the few minutes that it took to drain the tank and I, you know I did that with a wave maker I've unplugged that now and I've plugged in uh, my little pond pump and if I can get that on well using one hand <laughs> there we go Alright, and I'm just going to stick it to the bottom, and my hose goes right here, here on this mess, it goes right over here, and we are filling up the 40 breeder tank with salt. 
salt water uh, that's exactly the right salinity and just a couple of degrees cooler and that will even out in that uh, temperature and there you go. If you've got any comments or questions, suggestions, uh, anything, please leave that in the comments below and sorry this ran so long. Thanks for watching.